What's going on everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to be discussing why all the fish in my 75 gallon reef tank died. This is going to be a pretty interesting video so I hope you stick around because the thought process that went behind this and what I actually figured out is very very interesting. So real quick the tank is doing just fine. Didn't lose a single coral. I've actually added coral since all the fish died and everything is doing as well as could be expected. Everything is happy every day. So let's talk about those fish. In case you didn't see the video where all my fish died, I will leave a link at the top right hand of the screen right there it is. So before the tank had all that fish death, I had the three pajama cardinals, the bengai cardinal, the mimic tang, and the yellow-eyed coal tang and six chromis, and all the fish died except for the six chromis. The chromis were doing fine, um, they were eating, they were shy and hiding though, which was kind of weird, and their behavior had become very different than normal. So I decided to go get three firefish. I got three firefish, put them in there with the chromis, and within 48 hours, they killed two of them. So then I said, okay, you know what, enough is enough. This, this tank is very hard to catch fish in. I actually have the whites on right now so you can kind of see the way the rock structure is. It's almost impossible to catch fish in here. I ended up catching all six chromis at like two in the morning, uh, two different nights, caught them all, gave them to a couple of different people. I didn't want them all to be in the same tank together and I'll explain why right now. So, I have talked in the past about having a reefing buddy multiple reefing buddies is great maybe even your significant other so I do have multiple reef buddies but the one that I talk to every day for a lengthy period of time is Murphy's Aquatics if you guys are not familiar with his channel please go over to his channel hit that subscribe button start watching some of his videos he's got it going on over there trust me I will leave the link for his channel in the description of this video. Go check it out right now, go subscribe, and then come back if you want. It's totally cool. So anyway, let's talk about how I figured out why all my fish died, and what fish I have in here now, and how things are doing. So I had those six chromis and most of the other fish, except for the two tangs, for over two years, and had no problems with them. I actually was impressed that six chromis stayed alive for that long. So I did make one change to the tank, and that change that I made actually is the reason why all those fish died. Now, let's talk about that. So one night I was on the computer, you know, fussing around with my lunar settings, and I was talking to Murphy's Aquatics. I like to call him Pat or Murphy. I call him Pat. So I was talking to Pat on the phone, and I was asking him, hey, what color do you use, what intensity, yada, yada, yada. Because he's had LEDs for a long time, and I'm just relatively new with them. And he was telling me, he was like, you know what? He's like, uh, I had to take the clownfish out when I started the lunar settings because they started, you know, breeding, and they became aggressive. And I was like, bingo, a light just popped on in my head. I couldn't believe it. When he said that out loud, it made me really think. And what I told, when I told him my thoughts on why my fish died, he goes, dude, absolutely. absolutely, freaking lutely So, what happened is, is my fish, especially those six chromis, have literally been under T5 lighting almost their entire life. When I got those fish originally, it was from an LFS, and they were itty-bitty tiny babies, maybe about the size of a dime. And about a, a little under three years later, you know, they were, they've been in my tank the whole time. So they've been used to the T5s. And the way my T5s go is, you know, they turn on. Two bulbs would turn on, and then another two bulbs, and then four bulbs would run a while, and then two bulbs would turn off, and then at 10 p.m. usually, boom, all the lights go out. Be total darkness. No lunar lights. Now, that lunar light is the key. So... We all know that, you know, the lunar settings or the moonlight settings on LEDs does help uh, stimulate breeding and spawning and all that. Well, the radions 
that I have over my tank right now have lunar lights. And ever since I started adding them, I realized that's when my chromis started acting odd. That's when they started, you know, vibrating up against each other, doing the shimmy, you know, showing off in front of each other and doing their thing and, and spawning, breeding, whatever you want to call it. So since those six chromis had that moonlight, that lunar setting, and it was set in the mood, it was causing them to be very territorial. And by being territorial, since they mainly slept over here, they became very aggressive to all the fish that wanted to sleep over here. So essentially, the moonlight or lunar settings on my radions is what killed my fish. That's what I like to say as a joke. Um, but yeah, if I didn't have lunar settings, those fish would have never, you know, started breeding or spawning because they never did it before. They never did it before. So I am going to officially um, say the reason why my fish all died is because the chromis just literally beat them up. And I watched them beat the two firefish up, literally watched them beat the firefish up during the moonlight settings while I was writing out a few checks to the utility companies. Couldn't believe my eyes. That's when I started taking everybody out. So I had one firefish left after I got the six chromis out and I ended up going to get four more. So now I have five firefish and I loved that mimic tang that I had. So I found this itty bitty tiny little baby mimic tang, picked him up as well. They've been in the tank now for about five days. I didn't quarantine them. I did, however, temperature acclimate some RODI water and I did do a about a four minute fresh water dip. I usually only do about a minute, but I did a four minute fresh water dip on all of them. I put them all in the same bucket, put some RODI water in there, and then took them out, put them back into another bucket of warm salt water, let them swim around for about 30 seconds, and then literally scooped them up with my hand and put them in. Now, they've been doing just fine. I would, I would say maybe 20 minutes after I dropped them in my tank, I started to put some brine shrimp in there, and they went crazy eating it. So, all the fish that I have in here are doing very well so far doing good, eating, everybody's getting along. It's kind of weird not seeing Chromis in here, but do I miss them? Yes. I had them for over three years, almost three years, almost three years. If, if I go back far enough onto my videos, I'm sure I could find the official date when I put them in, but it was just about three years ago. And look at this Mimic Tang. When I saw him in the tank at the LFS, I saw him like, you know, nipping at the glass. He's a skinny little dude. He's a skinny little dude, but look at him. Totally chilling. At this time, I don't think I'm going to get another Tang. I'm going to let this guy do all the work. I do have some uh, pajama cardinals, four pajama cardinals on hold for me. And I'm probably going to pick out a bunch of other little ones. I almost, I like these firefish so much, I want to get more. I don't know, tell me what you guys think. If you have firefish, do you have a lot or just a couple? I was told either to get one or five or more. So I have five. So, yeah, who would have thought that the... Lunar lights would have caused such havoc in my tank. So I do highly appreciate all the people that were sending me um, emails and messages on Instagram um, on the behavior of Chromis when they're breeding. It matched up perfectly to what I saw in my tank and what I filmed. And uh, it's, it's pretty cool that I saw all that because that's what really made me decide to get all the fish out of there. Look at this mimic tank. Awesome fish, my favorite tang. I wish I could get two in here, I really do. He's a little guy, so I don't know. Maybe I'd like to get another little one, but uh, one is fine for now. You know, there's not much algae in here for him to eat at. So that's it for now, everybody. Um, again, thank you to everybody in the comments of my fish death video for, you know, uh, a couple people did mention and said, hey, do you hear clicking noises at night? And sure as sure as it was the clicking noises, I would look in the tank and I would see the chromis um, under these rocks right here and there would be other fish in the area as well. So I don't know if they were warning them to get out, what the case may be, but yeah, the chromis all went. I was actually able to give them to two different people, you know, and they knew the circumstances. Hey, they're breeding. They're going to be nasty. So the one guy actually took four. He put them all in the same tank together. He's going to see if he can 
get them to actually breed and have baby Chromis, uh, which I think would be a pretty cool experiment. But, you know, they weren't killing each other. They were just killing everything else in the tank. So that's it for now, everybody. Again, thanks to everybody. And thank you, Pat, for chatting with me one late night talking about lunar settings, lunar settings and making the light bulb go off in my head saying, oh my gosh, the radions killed my fish, right? Isn't that funny to say that out loud? It's not really what happened, but in reality, the lunar lights just promoted the breeding of my chromis, which made them nasty fish. So, that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Later. All right, I just want to thank you guys again for stopping by. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, hit that little crab icon to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for any future videos or updates. And in case you haven't seen these two videos, you might want to click on one and check it out. Again, thanks for stopping by.